Last time on a very special clone high. Nightmare, 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 nightmare. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Rainco Master Detective. I said the name reverse. Who cares? There's more important things to focus on, like a goddamn dead body. Last episode, we were introduced to the urban legend of the nail man who nails his victims to boards, as one does with nails. Disgusting. But, if you're enjoying the show, and want to see the Nail Man brought to justice, give me a like. Come on! Do it! Hit me it! Now, okay, well, now we can start. <laughs> Despite my jovial demeanor, I'm trying to combat the horrible incident with j j j just humor, and it's not really working. Huh. I guess I'll have to search the body, huh? Well, you do have experience, Yuma. The moment we've all been waiting for. Mm. You're lucky you got here before they took it away, aren't ya? I mean, yeah, but it's not because I want to do this. She's just... I can't stomach calling myself lucky when I think about the victim. This is definitely a real corpse, and not a doll. I don't know who this woman is. The Peacekeeper report didn't include any details. No, I'm just throwing out theories here. But is there a chance it's Melamy? I'm just saying, I'm just saying... We, we gotta consider every angle. But no matter who she is, she didn't deserve this. No, she did not. Melanie, we will find who did this to you! Cut the chatter, Master! Hurry, hurry! This is terrible. The body is covered in nails pinning her to the floor. What's this? There's a mark on the neck. Yeah, I noticed that too. And it looks like there's scratches too. Oh, is that her scratching it? That's so sad. It looks like a rope burn. The vertical scratch marks were made by the victim as she struggled. A victim usually ends up with marks like this when they thrash around while getting strangled by a rope. That's fairly typical when it comes to strangulation victims. Seen it a bunch of times. Well, I'm thankful we have an expert on the... Uh, situation. So she was killed by strangulation? And not actually the nails. That means most likely the murder didn't happen here if there's no noose or anything. The Peacekeeper report didn't say anything about the cause of death. Hmm, I wonder why. It should have been easy to figure out. They just simply don't care? I mean, I guess not. They didn't investigate at all! They got the chance to see a corpse up close, <laughs> and they blew it! Yeah, they, that's, that's, that's a shame. In any case, finding out the cause of death is huge. But still, I mean, anyone... Well, it's pretty clear the crime didn't happen here, so we're eventually going to have to also check out those woods out back. All right, let's check this out. So this is the only window. They've installed shutters instead of glass. The shutters look new despite the building's old age. It must have been added later on. Good find. The window's big enough for someone to fit through. The door was locked from the inside at the scene of the crime. The only window was shuttered and also locked from the inside. I don't know why I'm giving the report this weird radio sounding voice, but there it is. There are no other entrances. It seems completely locked room. This matches the nail man's MO. According to the Peacekeeper report, the shutters were already closed at the time of discovery, so they've been left alone like this. If we can trust the report, I mean. I don't know why we wouldn't be able to. Hey, how about you try opening them? <sighs> it won't open. It's locked. And it's very rare. I want to say almost impossible that you can open them from the outside. Were the shutters locked when the body was discovered? Uh, hard to say. Could you lock it? Could you leave and then lock it? I don't know. How do we open them? Maybe there's a secret password or something. No, I don't think it's a password. <laughs> hey, there's a latch on the left side. I think I can move it. Does that do anything? Okay. All right, it opened. The latch was pretty light. It can be easily adjusted. But you would need the biggest ladder ever to get up here. Hold up. It's rather high up. It's above the third floor on most buildings. It's impossible to jump off from here. And someone definitely would have seen you. I mean, you could argue, Johnny, it was raining, visibility was low, but bro, it's always raining, so like, I don't know, man. Even if you tried climbing down, 
There's nothing to hold on to out there. You can see the big clock above, but there's nothing really suspicious here. If you could get up to them. It's too early to say. We need more clues. Hmm. It'd be difficult for the culprit to get in and out from here. What a weird case. I mean, weirder than usual. Hmm? What's that sound? Wait. I... Oh, it's locked again. So what, it's an automat- Ooh. Good find, Yuma. That... You know that's gonna come into play. <laughs> Master, why are you still playing with the shutters? You wanna be friends with them? No, that's not it. Okay, then what? Now it won't go down. Okay. I get it. This shutter stops once it goes all the way up. But when set halfway, it's designed to fall down with its own weight. And if it goes all the way down, it automatically locks. I don't get it, but you're really fixated on these shutters. Because it's obviously going to be important here. I mean, well, who installed these shutters? Because this seems almost too convenient for the killer. Oh my god, this does not paint the carpenter guy in a good light. A solution key for you just in case you open a shutter shop one of these days <laughs> thank you gosh all right i didn't know she could just make them like that but. there's something under the window what's that did you find something interesting that was a more spontaneous thing but yeah there's something i can't tell the bottom of the window is wet from maybe rain Maybe some rain got in when you opened the window earlier. Not that much. No, the parts starting to dry are leaving stains. This didn't get wet just now. Then maybe it's the tears from the nail uh, dolls. Uh, that's actually creepy. <laughs> no more horror stuff. <laughs> what? More dolls? He just ignores you. That's the right attitude. These two are lined up and nailed together. Ooh. Hold on. Could you, depending how concrete those nails are, could you maybe, hmm, I'm thinking something like a rope ladder. But then how would you get, you'd have to like throw it up there like a grappling hook and keep trying, and also the window would have to be open. That does line up what has happened so far though. Huh? What's this? A yellow thread is attached Ooh. to the nail in the doll. It's seeming more likely as we continue, okay. On a closer look, it seems the thread left marks on the nail. What could it mean? That there was some tension there. Hmm. Maybe. This is suspicious. You should remember this. <laughs> Aren't you supposed to help me with that? Jeez. Alright. <laughs> Two dolls beneath window. And they're scuffed. This whole thing is seeming scuffed. But are the dolls themselves, like, in t like, is there anything weird about them? Other than, you know... I feel like they're not here by an a for an accident. Maybe they're. So that's all. I just. I think I just walked over the dead body. Sorry about that. I'm. I'm taking this seriously. But I think these are set up as a misdirection to really hide the truth of. Yeah, they are necessary to check out, you know. for the killer to get in here and fake their closed room. There are dolls nailed all over the walls and floor. What a ghastly sight. All the dolls here look antique. They're looking at me as if they're full of hate. Oh no, Yuma. There's nothing to hate about you. You're doing your best. It would have taken a ton of time to do all this by hand. Why would the culprit go to the trouble to do this? Maybe it's to link it back to the urban legend about the mailman. Yeah, to hide their crime is just, oh, a ghostly apparition did this. You all know. you need to do is write down the name of someone you wish dead. Someone you hate so much you could kill them. I do believe this is- I do believe! I don't know why I turned in a whisper there. This is a callback to a actual, real urban legend. And I was totally wrong last episode. The Hellraiser character, which yeah, I'm not, I'm not the biggest horror fan. He actually has nails in his head. I thought it was needles my whole life. I thought that was like his whole deal. But no, they're nails. Nails! Then make a doll resembling that person, nail the name tag to it, and leave it at the forest behind the church. This summons the nail man who will kill that person for you. Or right, so the legend goes. Whoever is killed by the nail man is pinned by countless nails. 
I'm gonna say countless. It was like seven. But yeah, this is based in mythology. But why would the culprit go through so much trouble to imitate an urban legend? Or maybe it's the real mailman. <laughs> now I'm scared. I told you I'm not good with a cult and horror stuff. Oh, you, oh, you poor thing. There, there. We'll be done soon, Shinigami. <laughs> Okay. Anything else? Oh, yeah, how could I forget our seat? Ooh, seemingly closed. This is the only door in the room. <laughs> I'm actually got a jumpy day because it's raining outside too. And the lock is very broken. immersive. They say the door was locked from the inside when the body was discovered. That must mean the peacekeepers broke the lock to get inside. So the inner lock is the type where you turn a latch. I don't see any evidence of it being tampered with. There's a keyhole on the outside of the door, but it's filled up and rusted. Hmm. I wonder if that happened. If it's rusted, then... That could just have came with the building due to, you know, just it being old. But for that to be the case, then, like, whoever the culprit is would have to know about this area and be very intimate with it. You know? This didn't happen recently. It may have been like this way before the incident. Yeah, when I say intimate with the building, I don't mean... Hey, why is the keyhole plugged? I don't know, dang. They might have figured it was unnecessary. The inner lock is probably left over from when the room needed both locks. Oh, true, good point. It may not be related to the case. Just a, you know, that's how it is. Either way, it doesn't seem like we can open it with a duplicate key or anything. There's no gap when the door is closed. It'd be hard to tamper with it. The only way to unlock this door is to turn the latch from inside. I'm willing to bet the peacekeepers are trying to say, you action. The most likely course of action enough. he took was he destroyed the door and as a carpenter, which is his profession, made a new one. That's how he made the closed room killing. Thank you. Thank you. Hold your applause. That might be their angle. I like to imagine that stuff. I mean, reality, they're probably just like, he did it, we don't need evidence, but... Maybe that's all the investigating I can do. And that's a wrap. What? We're actually done with this room? No. I really hope we're not going into the labyrinth already, because Shinigami, I don't think we're prepared enough. That should do it for the investigation for now. Yeah, I get it. Without a doubt, this murder crime scene is... Locked room! It's an impossible crime! Yep, there's simply no answer. <laughs> the door was locked from the inside, and the only window had shutters that were also locked. It's a locked room mystery! So cute! <laughs> What's she sniffing for? <laughs> what are you doing? Why are you sniffing? Is that how you celebrate? I... I'm taking in this luscious locked room atmosphere. <laughs> uh, go off. I celebrate. Anyway, uh, <laughs> let's leave before the peacekeepers come. They just cause more trouble for us. You must literally me. Erm, um, kind of awkward. Maybe we should change subject. Huh? Oh, right. Well, it's good we got this investigation done in a timely manner. I'm so nervous we're missing something, though. I should really absorb this place in memory. Okay, I'm done. All right, later. Oh, right, there's a ladder. Speaking of which, what's this ladder over here? Should we take a look? Yeah, quick, quick, quick. Go, go, go. Yes. And he ain't in a hurry at all, is he? There doesn't seem to be anything suspicious about it. I think that kid said his dad was here to fix the clock. Oh, so that's the clock. Was he about to head back home after fixing it? Or maybe he was just about to start fixing it. And who called him to fix that clock? That to me sounds like a setup. Probably doesn't matter either way. Nothing matters to me besides the locked room mystery. No, that definitely matters here. Well, I'll think about it later. Let's leave this place for now. Mm. This one's got me uneasy. You really are not going to show us that? That is such a tease, but all right. Where to next? Oh, thank God. They're still knocked out. Oh, hey, oh, little champ. It's you. What's up? Over here. Hey, did you find something? Oh, damn. Huh? What's the matter? Uh, What's up? Find a body or something? Oh, my God. Let's hope not. Over here. How far oh, does this uh, go? Yes. Let's go. Over here. 
Yo, stop saying that. God. <laughs> Let me guess. Over here. No, we didn't say it again. While you were checking the clock tower, I took a look around the building. Oh, you shouldn't have. And I found these. Is it just me or is Iris's also clocks? That's kind of... Footprints? Oh. Maybe these belong to the culprit. What? The culprit? I'm not sure. Let's check. There are a set of footprints on the wet ground near the wall. And I guess the nail man is a little careless. But it's only the heel portion. The only thing I can discern is that they weren't sneakers. <laughs> they could be loafers. What? Yuma. But the footprints seem strange. Oh? What's strange about them? Look, the footprints are facing the wall. Yeah? This looks like whoever made them was walking toward the wall. There's also no footprints in the opposite direction. Because if they climbed up the wall like we thought, they'd have to walk away from it, you know? You're saying the guy disappeared through the wall? No. We're dealing with wall phasing man? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, they just keep giving him new superpowers. It's it It's too much to keep up with. Nail man versus wall man. Okay, it's wall phasing man, but that's you know we just abbreviate it. That's like that's like a classic clash, bro. And the end right under that window. Is this just a coincidence? Or does it have something to do with the murder? Definitely the murder. Um what do you think? Are these the footprints of the real culprit? I can't say for sure, but it's definitely a it's definitely a good clue. Hmm. To be honest, there's not much I can say with just this. At the very least, I hope I can prove the footprints aren't his father's. Hey, what kind of shoes does your dad usually wear? Huh? His shoes? He usually wears sneakers. He was wearing them today. Let's go, that's a good sign! Does he ever wear loafers? Sometimes, but not usually. At least he's honest about it. He would be one thing if he didn't own a single pair of loafers. But I can't rule him out yet. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Still, I wouldn't want to waste the kid's discovery of these footprints. Mm, in that case, I'll remember it for you. Is Yuma... Does Yuma think he actually did it? I mean, that would be a heck of a twist. Be like, no, he actually was the killer. Sorry, kid. That'd be dark. So do you think you can find the real culprit? <laughs> I think, yeah, I can do it, but you might not like the answer or the outcome. Yeah, I think. Maybe. I might need a little more time, though. <sighs> I see. Oh, no. You was a little too honest. Oh, but don't worry. I'll find a way. Thank you. I know he's worried about his dad. If he really is innocent, I want to prove it. If he isn't innocent. <laughs> While I'm at it, maybe I should ask him more about his father. They're not gonna do that. I'm worried for no, bro. Um, There's no way. Did you notice anything different about your dad this morning? Um, my dad went out late last night to work on the clock, so I didn't see him this morning. He was out since last night, so he stayed the night here. That's his job. His job is to repair clocks? He doesn't just repair them, he also sells them. Watches and wall clocks, too. Okay. Oh, so he's a watchmaker. Wait, the Peacekeeper report said his occupation was unknown. Ma uh, oh, is he. Oh, uh, there's the possibility he's lying to his kid. No. No, why would we trust the Peacekeepers? They're trash. Maybe it's more convenient for them if they intend to declare him as the culprit of the mailman murders. Yeah, it's more, you know, he's not an upstanding citizen. He's. Yeah, he's just some bum peddling his clocks. Hey, kid, wanna buy some watches? $49.99. They don't tell time, but, uh. What? What do they do, actually? Oh, he's getting framed as the culprit. They made up their minds and dropped the investigation. They're doing such a good job. I mean, they're almost convincing me. Does your dad also manage this clock tower? No, he only checks on that clock once a year. But yesterday, he got an urgent request to fix it. Ooh. 
An urgent request because a murder took place. The clock wasn't keeping time, so he was called to repair it. My dad is usually happy to repair any clock, but he always grumbles about how much he hates the clock tower. Yeah, because it's a giant pain from the looks of it. He hates it? Why? Because he's afraid of heights. Oh, dang. Then, bro, it was... That's all I needed to hear. I'm convinced now. He's scared of even climbing up the clock tower. But he bites the bullet and does his work without looking outside. Because he just wants to support his boy's life. What a good father. <laughs> a fear of heights. <sighs> there's no way he used the ladder. I don't know if there's a ladder yet, but it's looking like it. He's afraid of climbing the clock tower and refrains from looking outside, so it sounds serious. Master, you're improving so much thanks to my training. I know, right? He's actually, he's becoming his own, his own dude. I'm so proud of him. What, what Shinigami has to do with that, though, I don't know. But. You're even getting better at pretending to think. I'm not pretending. That's I'm so, serious here. that's so mean. He's been on a roll. She's not a nice lady. I don't like her. What else is new, Jim? Hmm? I hear noise outside. What? I hear talking. Maybe those guys woke up. That's quite a commotion, though. Let's take a look. If the peacekeepers wake up, they'll be sure to pay you back for this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we'll stay aloof. In fairness, though, it was Nightmare who did that. Okay, we got aim at the shard. Nice. They're gonna be mad at anyone. Be mad at that. Whoa. They're still knocked out. Hold up. Wait, who's this? King Mickey? Oh no, it's Amaterasu. On the back. I mean, I think that's their logo. Or it looks like it. It's a kitsune. Everyone, please wake up. This is Amaterasu Peacekeepers. Investigation Team Section Chief Seth Burrows. He's got a real name. I mean, a normal name. He's scary. That's terrifying in this universe. <laughs> uh, I mean, makes sense. For non-spies, I guess. Or investigators. It's pretty much what we are. Right now, anyway. You're late. He's very soft-spoken. He needs his mic megaphone. Up. This is Amaterasu Peacekeepers, Investigation Team, Section Chief Seth Burrows. I like his design, though. He's such an odd fellow. <laughs> Got his butts in the air. <laughs> Uh, oh, you didn't turn it on. <laughs> wake up. Oh my god! Ah. What's up with this game and all, like messing with my ears, bro? It appears there are fools in town who do not comprehend the majesty of the peacekeepers. Many of them have been eliminated already, but I've heard some outsiders have recently arrived. It's just gloating that he killed people? Wow. What a Go prank. find witnesses and extract information to see who has interfered with us. They may still be nearby. Capture anyone that even appears suspicious. What? Sneaking mission? Oh, God. Oh, and did you clean up the body at the crime scene? If not, then hurry along with that. It's not the megaphone. The rain in this city makes bodies rot quickly. You better hurry or it will putrefy. Is that... Is that true? Does that accelerate decomposition? I've never really thought about that before. At least he's thinking about the bodies. To like, speed yeah. this case along, we need to quickly deal with that nail man we arrested. We should even consider a public execution. Whatever. That's actually just barbaric. Shut up. Dude, how are we going to say? Our powers suck. I know I keep repeating myself, but dude, wait, we are doomed. An execution? What do we do? At this rate, my dad. This Seth guy doesn't care about the truth. He just wants to wrap up this case as soon as possible. It's beyond cruel. But if we solve the case with the labyrinth, I mean, unless it's Seth Burroughs who did the killing. In this city, what they say becomes the truth. Please! Please save my dad! I'm on it. I'm on it, Chief. Don't worry. The only way to save your dad is to catch the real culprit. I can do it. Leave it to me. Really? Thank you! 
But first, we have to leave this area before they find us. I know a secret way out. Is it adjacent to the forest by chance? You can pass through here to get back to a street in Ginmo District. Hey, that'll work too. You might stand out if you're with me, so I'll go a different direction. Hey, stay safe, kid. Thanks a bunch. Are you sure you'll be okay alone? Yes, I play around here often. Um, please help my dad. Hey, man, it ain't nothing. My pleasure. Yeah, just you wait. I'll bring some good news soon. Let's go, man. I'm ooh. I'm invested now. We just needed a good antagonist. I mean, don't get me wrong. Zilch Alexander. That was a fire antagonist. But this guy, I see him being a thorn in our side for a while. Now I think about it, I don't even know if the forest is necessary to investigate. Because you could be, you know, strangulated or uh, hanged anywhere. It doesn't have to match up with the legend at all. In fact, it'd be you smarter sure if it didn't. You want to be so quick to make promises? I'm not very confident, but I can't ignore someone asking for help. If no one else is willing to listen, then it's up to me. I know, he's so defiant. I love this about this character. He's just, I don't know, something about this. He's just harmless, but he's so, he just wants to get the job done and do what's right. It's admirable. Wow, got a load of big <laughs> shot. Didn't expect that from you, master. He, yeah, he's, he's, a bundle, he's a bundle of surprises, isn't he? Plan to find the real culprit. We can't investigate the clock tower with the peacekeepers around. We have to. Yeah, I got nothing. By the way, you can't use the mystery labyrinth yet. Not enough clues. I didn't know there was that stipulation. It's a good thing I can't. If you jump into the labyrinth now, we'll be lost forever. You need to gather more solution keys. That is truly terrifying. Think about it. You would be like second guessing it forever. Okay, I have 37 keys. Is that enough? Well. I might want to triple check. I don't ever want to go back there anyway. <laughs> it's not been the highlight so far, but say. How do you intend on solving this? There is one way. You're going to rely on that one, huh? Always depending on someone else. Wait, what? You lost me. Nightmare? Mm, what was the spot again? Something about a cafe? I don't remember. I remember they were talking about Shein. I was like, isn't that an online store? But... <sighs> But women's clothes. I mean, I don't buy women's clothing. I've heard of it. I, you know, I have, to, I have to research a lot of fashion from... Anyway. If you let them take the lead, you're going to be out 5 million shien, right? Do you have that kind of money, Master? Or are you going to go into debt? I don't want that either. Debt is scary, yo. <laughs> anyway. Uh, oh. How's it going? Here by yourself? Alara, please help me. If Master is bowing to show respect, uh, I guess I better do the same. Wow, so... Uh, Please, uh, oh, <laughs> that was such a good gag. I, I didn't think, uh... You're 30 minutes later than expected. Hey, oh, hold up, what? You know what, show up? Uh, thanks. Probably get the seat wet, though, with my cape, but... Uh. So, do you have the cash? Not exactly. I don't have any on me right now, but I will eventually. Boy, why are you lying? Come on. Very well. I don't require you to have it immediately, but you will pay me 5,500,800 shien eventually. Wait, it went up? Huh? But you said it was 5 million before. It's an additional fee for making me wait. And for the coffee. Uh, uh. I told you, I don't work for cheap. Is this why you're scamming Thunderbolt? Come on. Oh, come on. <laughs> so ruthless. A greedy little money demon. I'm very curious why they... Why the fee is so high. I mean, they're likely very good at their job, but still. Seems to me you're just kind of waiting around. I don't know. Do you even have other clients? I think I'll call this one Hell Aura. That's funny as heck. <laughs> I won't force your hand. Whatever you decide is up to you. While you think it over, I'm going to order some cake. Wait, do I have to pay for that too? <laughs> of course. I'll add it to the bill. What? I th I th all right, I'll pay you all 5.5 million and 800 shin. Got it? Please don't add the cake. It's a deal. You made a wise choice. Oh yeah, I forgot we're in the ritzy part of town. Oh. I have no obligation to help others. 
but I work sincerely according to the payment I receive. That is my pride as a detective. But would you would you work for the bad guys too if the price was right? I don't I don't know about that, Chief. I will be your eyes and limbs. Whoa. And help solve this crime with everything I have. That's intense. However, know this. You must be the one to complete the boy's assignment. Why is that? Uh, me? You are the one who was asked to solve this case. All I will do is provide support. You may be a trainee, but you are still a detective. Once you have taken a job, you must finish it. In other words, as of now, I have taken up a position as your assistant. Really? Wow. Really, Halara? Oh my god. You'll be my assistant? <laughs> of course. I'm here to assist for your case. Just rest assured in the cards you've been dealt. All right. Thank you. I mean, I know we're getting robbed and everything, but... Halara, you definitely make it seem like a very formal transaction. Like, I, I can't complain so far. <laughs> Master has no memory and no guts. And now, he has no money either. Hey, we'll, we'll manage somehow. Talk about a triple threat! That's not what that means. He can't sing or dance. Oh, be quiet. I can definitely act. So, what do we do now? To confirm, our target is the true culprit of the mailman killings. Correct? The peacekeepers have decided that the boy's father is the mailman and arrested him. But I refuse to accept that outcome. After we finish the investigation, we may find out the boy's father is actually the mailman. Yeah, we may have to just mentally prepare for that outcome. It is a possibility. If that's what you conclude, then I'll believe you, Halara. Dang, he's ready? Wow. Believe? What a foolish line of reasoning. Well, it's just a figure of speech. You know what he means. To believe in another is the shallowest concept one can uphold. All people lie. All people change their minds. As a detective, you must suspect all others. Even me. My instinct is to say, who hurt you? But no, I can't even argue. They're right. Yep. A detective must doubt everything. Still... I will believe what you say, Halara. I trust my instincts on this. Out of the question. You're saying I don't have instincts? A detective must never overlook a mystery. Any and all truths must be exposed. A detective must always prioritize solving a case. Emotions must be discarded to reach a perfect solution through a perfect deduction. That's what number one said. Maybe... I don't know if they look up to number one. I think it's just, no, they definitely paid attention during <laughs> the uh, ceremony and such, like all the lessons. That's the WDOs. You're free to think of me as you wish. However, the truth must be found with your own eyes. Hey, what's with that look? Alara, are you okay? What was in that coffee? Oh my God, another bad cup? No. Otherwise, there is no point in continuing as a detective. Do you understand? Yes. Continuing as a detective. I still haven't found meaning in being a detective. What's Alara trying to make me see? I think they're just trying to... They recognize, you know, you're a little wet behind the ears. Because, you know, it's raining. <laughs> but legit, what they're saying is like, Hey, this ain't fun. I mean, it is. It's a really captivating game, and I love it, love it, love it. But, you might have to see some ugly truths, Yuma. I'm no good at this. Oh, come on. At least try. Hmm. A naive guy like yourself might be incompatible with such a straight-laced detective like this one. I think they make a good pair, on the contrary. Maybe someone totally unmotivated would be better. Like that guy sleeping under the piano. I do hope. I mean, right now they feel like co-workers, but yeah, I hope everyone can get along at some point. Vivian? I'm not sure if unmotivated is the right word. Maybe he conserves his motivation and strength for when it really matters. Right now, he's just goofing off. Anyway, Master, I've been wondering, is this Halara person a man or a woman? Oh, wow. Uh, uh, well, I don't know yet if I'm being totally honest, so I'm just trying to be polite. Now that you mention it... I have no idea. I'm surprised the game even draw attention to that. If you're ready, we'll start the investigation. I won't allow time to be wasted. Yeah, let's focus up. Oh, 
Oh, right. You missed your chance to ask. But then again, I also don't really care. Yeah, let's move on. <laughs> you finished investigating the clock tower, didn't you? Now we will investigate the past mailman cases. Oh, good idea. The past ones? These are serial killings, aren't they? Oh, so you want to investigate the past murders as well. And through investigating each one, we can conclude if the boy's father is really the culprit or not. Right, if there's a pattern or if it would make logical sense for him to be able to reach those areas. Yeah, yeah. Oh, but we don't know where the other crimes took place. Should we ask around town? Something tells me Halara already did that for us. I already know. <laughs> there are at least three additional crime scenes. A secret club in Kamasaki District. A mansion in a high-end residential district. And an art gallery in Ginma District. Yeah, we heard about that last one. Huh? When did you find that out? <laughs> I thought you were sitting in the coffee shop the whole time. What? You think I did nothing while waiting at the cafe? Hmm. I prepared by gathering intel in order to move the investigation along. Oh my god, I can't even hate you. You're just so cool. That's amazing. With my logic, anything is possible. But before we head to past crime scenes, the Nailman urban legend requires more research. Let's visit the legend's main stage. Yeah, let's go in the woods. Let's go. The main stage? Oh, you mean the church? I have yet to pinpoint the church's location. We should ask someone to guide us there. Okay, deal. Then we should ask the chief. Oh, I totally forgot about him. Uh, uh, he told me to gather everyone. And he's just been sitting in the sub and probably sitting on that toilet because what we fed him. Oh man, are they ever going to get here? I'm out of toilet paper. <laughs> Halara, let's go back to the office for now. We're already way past the meeting time. Very well. We can ask the chief to take us to the church. Hey, perfect. Oh my gosh. So far, oh, what? You follow me around? Yo, we got two buddies. We're, two, we're like two co-workers, but we're buddy co-workers, yay. Laura, have you seen the giant dinosaur? Yes, I've seen the giant dinosaur. Oh, okay. Have you seen the naked? Yes, I've seen the naked man. Have you seen the other? We should be moving. Yeah, right, okay. Well, here we go. Oh my god. Whoa! Yako, no! Oh, right. They got a chief. And that peacekeeper from the clock tower. Also, dang, he's tall. Also, why did you bring him flowers? Oh gosh. Seth Burrows. A high ranking peacekeeper. He's quite infamous for being sly and persistent. I've told you ten times I'm not interested in a relationship. Come on. Those are nice flowers, but... Well, we sure got some heavy rain again, huh? Oh, the humidity makes my hair fuzzier than normal. <laughs> I like it's always like that. I don't care. Aw, oh, playing hard to get. Huh? W what did you say? I don't care. What? More importantly, you sent your detectives to interfere with the nail man case, didn't you? We have witnesses. No, who told... Who snitched? Uh, nail man? Uh, now that you mention it, there was a case like that before. I mean, he's telling the truth. He is completely oblivious. Oh, wait, no. I don't know anything. Ah, this flower. It's beautiful, isn't it? Huh? Created by Amaterasu Corp's research, this precious work of art is adapted to Kanai Ward's environment. But unfortunately, once picked, it can only maintain its beauty for three hours. When something beautiful withers, it fills me with an inexplicable sorrow. I feel so sad that... <laughs> it makes me want to sink a ship. Don't you dare. I... I don't follow. Oh, God. The nail man affair will be handled by the peacekeepers. You and your team will withdraw immediately. Bring in the detectives you sent out. The peacekeepers will take custody of them. Yo, hold on! I, I don't know what detectives you're talking about, and I don't know where any of them are. Yeah, we're working independently. I mean, that's not a lie, but they don't listen to reason. It is impossible to debate with them. I'll wait until this flower withers. You have three hours. What? I'll not wait a second longer. That's so screwed up. If you fail to meet my demands, you will suffer the same fate as this flower. Fine, I get it, but 
Can't you give me more time? He's gonna cut it in half. I'm not talking about the flowers. Oh wow, he actually didn't. All right, three hours. You know, it, it could be worse. He's gone. Could just blew it up right now. Chief Yako, are you all right? I had a mini heart attack. I was like, oh, I thought I was gonna explode. Oh, Yuma and Halara too. Yeah, sorry, sorry, Chief. I, I didn't get you that toilet paper. Uh, Eesh, this is bad. Uh, listen, the peacekeepers just came by. I know. We were watching from over there. Huh? You were watching? You couldn't at least help me out. No, come on. You handled it with, you know, grace. We're, we're not trying to cramp your style, Yako. Come on. Hold on. Are you two the detectives they were talking about? I'm sorry. It's a long story, but it was probably us. Oh, you got to be kidding me! Why? <laughs> What's going on? I'm sorry. We've made this guy's life a living hell. It's exactly as the peacekeeper said. We are currently pursuing the nailman case. We'd like to search around the church. I was about to ask you to take us there, but you seem rather busy. Yeah, I'm real busy now, thanks to you two. You're gonna keep investigating? Not gonna help your chief out of a jam? I, 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 I don't know what I just did. What was that? Oh my God. I think I have a beatboxing career waiting to happen, but yeah, I, I, I mean, just legit, dude. Look, I... we've got three hours before I'm taken away. If that happens, the last detective agency in town is done for. Yeah, also, you will die. That That is too much. I, I was so focused on the, the ship exploding because I really like it, but... Would you rather hand us over to the peacekeepers? Ooh, and save your own skin? Who do you think you're talking to? I'm the chief. I'd rather turn myself in than ever sell anyone out. What a guy. Though, I wouldn't want to do that either. Yeah, let's... I'm being honest. Let's just avoid that altogether. Never mind. Forget what I just said. Man, he does not know when to stop. Me either. I just can't shut up when I'm making these videos. I'm just so thrilled, I guess. What should <laughs> we do, Halara? There's only one person who'll be taken into custody. It's not the chief, not us. It's the nail man. Well, they might take in a dead body. I don't know if that's that's good enough. You will find the real culprit and turn the murderer over to the peacekeepers as originally planned. Yeah, they might show up in a body bag. With enough evidence, they will have no room to reject the truth. But we only have three hours. Three hours is more than enough. I will give my utmost effort as your assistant. I am very happy I prayed I paid the price now. Oh no. With my logic, <laughs> anything is possible. Y is that your catchphrase? I don't I mean, it's kinda banging. It's better than what the dump. I'll give you that, but uh, I don't really get it, but it seems best to leave it to you two. You said you wanted to go to the church? Let me mark it on the map. Oh, thanks, man. I'm sorry I thought you I don't know. You're a scumbag. You're actually pretty reliable and helpful. It's for the best that I don't tag along. If we're seen together, things will get even more sticky. Yeah. I'll be right here, waiting for good news. I'm counting on you. Don't worry, Chief. We will try and stop the firing squad. Got it. We're off. This is un- Three hours. <laughs> You've got three hours to solve the case. Oh, God, dude. I'm nervous now. Seriously. I'm counting on you. Why There's did- still so much I need to do. Wait, what does he mean? He's gone and finished business here in Kanai from the sounds of it. Oh, God. Just one little thing. And these characters become... I... But... There's... Chief, you don't understand. There's side quests. I gotta do them. Ah! I don't... How did I do that, bro? How did I do that? Oh, my God. Okay, hold on. Get your, get your head in the game. Let's focus up. Mm. Wait, nuns? Stockings? All the nuns' red stockings have a thickness of... What? What the... Huh? Oh, just teleports us right there. What is that? Oh, God. So the Nailman urban legend originated at this church. Look at those windows. Dude, that reminds me of... Reminds me of Ava in 21st Century Boy. There what? aren't any ghosts here, are there? It's safe, right? Wouldn't you want to meet another ghost? What if they're your type? I don't know. Hmm. What's the matter, Halara? I hate churches. I find them devoid of value. Huh? Why is that? Uh, I don't know if we have time for backstory, though, so maybe 
after the case? Because prayer is obviously inferior to payment. Just look at the tragedies this city has seen. There is no God to save you. The lost lamb should look to detectives for help instead, don't you think? Uh... I don't know about that. Yeah. It depends on the individual. Let's just focus on the case. Let's not get... Did no one ever tell you don't talk about religion and politics? <sighs> Forget it. For now, let's talk to the people around the church. Yeah. Will they even listen to us? They can't say no if we say we're on assignment for the peacekeepers. But that be lying! Is it okay to lie like that? Whether it's okay or not is secondary. Our priority is to solve the case. In order to achieve that, deception is at times required. Now, let us educate those who are here that their true savior oh. isn't beyond the rain clouds. Oh my gosh, Halara. That's, that's very direct. Oh, oh my, what? Um, what is it you wanted to speak about? What kind of church is this? I've already spoken to the peacekeepers a bunch of times. How many times do I gotta say it? Are you in a cast, ma'am? Oh my, what are you doing here? <laughs> Uh, hasn't the culprit already been arrested? Yo, this place is mad fishy. Well, I don't mind. I have time to talk. Okay. Uh, um. They're both at a loss for words. It's just so not not what I expected. How long are you going to stand around like some tombstone? I don't know, but she's got cat ears and she's a nun. That's really bizarre. Our time is short. Why do you think we've gathered them here? Oh, yeah. Um, we have to question them, right? It's your move. Play your card. Do I really have to do this? I guess Halara seems intent on being the assistant. In my opinion, it'd go much faster if Halara did this, Master. Yeah, I... I mean, we are paying them. But I have to do it. No point in wasting time thinking about it. Yeah, let's just go with the flow. For an investigation. Listen, I don't want to be a misogynist, but it's pretty clear I want to talk to you first. What is up with this fit? Who are you? Why are you an alt nun? I mean, I'm not hating, that's just. Um, you are unbelievably beautiful. What are you, blind? <laughs> Obviously. Yeah, yeah, I... You got some nerve calling me here out of nowhere. Do you know how busy I am with choir practice? I don't know if they're legit or not. I'll kill your ass in the name of God. Sorry. I, I... <laughs> She's the type my master has trouble with. <laughs> True facts. I'll have you know, my dad is a higher up at Amaterasu Corporation. Then why are you a nun? I don't care if you're on a mission from the peacekeepers. If you piss me off, Papa will make you regret it. Right. Um, I'd just like to ask some questions. I'll keep it quick. Do you know anything about this nail man? You mean the guy nailing up dolls? Well, I have seen someone going into the forest late at night. Whenever I've gone into the forest afterward, I usually find dolls nailed to the trees. The dolls have names written in what looks like blood. It's creepy as hell, really. Hmm. I wonder how many of those are via the real nail man or a perpetrator and just, you know, some of them could be copycats. In other words, it's totally uh, metal. What? That is, I mean, I guess it could be. I see. By the way, what happened to your right hand? Did you get hurt? Who is hurting you, ma'am? I will find the culprit! Hey, don't stare! Uh, it's nothing! Go, man. Uh, I went a little overboard while practicing an instrument. You're a heavy metal nun. That is... That is quite the... The, the clash, I must say. Instrument? I'm working on this new thing I call... Oh. Death Metal Choir. <laughs> I was messing around on the bass and... Well, you know. Okay, so it's a hand sprain. Is that your dominant hand? What kind of question is that? You want to die or something? Oh, uh, it, it is her dominant hand. I'm sure of it. Hmm, makes you say that, buddy. I see. Hmm. What is, why is she so defensive about that? Okay, the character was made for me. This is my favorite character. 
She's so far the most normal girl we've met. She's only threatened our life twice. That's not that's not that bad. Okay, I gotta focus. Two hours, two hours to go, two hours. What's up? And you are I I do the odd jobs like cleaning around the church. Okay. I also care for the forest. Huh. Do you know anything about the mailman? So is he like giving acorns out to squirrels? Like what? I I often patrol the woods, but I'm usually asleep at night. When morning comes around, there are dolls nailed to the trees. It's tough to clean all of them up. Dang, what a pain. I've n never seen the nail man himself, but I've seen people enter the forest plenty of times. Have you ever talked to them? I have, but they typically run away. Some get surprised and leave their nails and doll behind. So that's confirmation, okay. I chase after them to give them back their dolls. Oh. But I'm never fast enough. They always get away. Yeah, hey man, it's the thought that counts. That makes sense with a body like that. Hey, hold up. We do not body shame here, Shinigami. You're... You're so nasty. I, I cannot believe that. I understand. Thank you very much. Disappointing. Disappointing. Oh, Shinigami. Every, it's, it's just every two seconds with you. All right, we'll save like the main guy for last. This guy looks kind of trendy. I don't know. I dig it. Excuse me, but uh, you are... Not the graphic tee, though, with the suit. Come on, man. What are you doing? Do you even have to ask? You know who I am. What? Uh-huh. No, I think today is the first time we've met. <laughs> is it gonna be like, I'm a niche internet celebrity who plays video games <laughs> What? You're investigating the nail man and you don't know who I am? Are you also an investigator? What's that supposed to mean? This must be the clergy member on the report who was the first to find the body. Yeah, that's right! I was the first on the scene! He is so enthusiastic. Also, his voice is so... just sounds so familiar. Right, he was on the report. I'm impressed Halara was able to realize it so quickly. I've been attending every day since I was first baptized here as a child. That's how pious I am. But I don't work here, so it's not like I'm a clergy member. I just love mystical places like this. There's an otherworldly feeling to it, you know? I love researching this type of stuff, which is why I've been keeping an eye on Nailman activity for a while now. So, you know a lot about the Nailman? That's an understatement. In fact, you could say I'm an expert in Nailman research. Really? Hmm. In that case, what do you think about the clock tower murder? Though it seems the suspect has already been arrested. I think he was framed. Really now? You do? Then who do you think the real killer is? It's me. What? Yes, it's actually me. Is he gonna say that? Is it? Is that where this is going? Like man obviously the peacekeepers are making a big mistake listen the nail man exists the nail man is summoned through a ritual and commits murder based on a sacrificial doll bro could you make it more obvious that's impossible yeah i get it you probably want proof in that case look for a doll in the forest You'll find a nailed doll with a name tag for the dark ceremony. Any chance you can point it on my map so I can arrest you? Whoever's name is on it is the nail man's next target. Just follow someone in town with the same name. If you're lucky, you might have a run in with the nail man. Dog, this is mad fishy. Unfortunately, I wasn't so lucky. I've missed him by just a hair four times already. I see. So you can guess the next victim based on each doll's name tag. I was so close at the clock tower, too. I found someone whose name matched a name tag. Hold on. I figured out she was heading to the clock tower. Who were they? I called the peacekeepers and entered the clock tower, but I was too late. Damn it! If only I'd acted sooner. Uh, this guy is all over the place. He was so close to meeting the nail man. Guess he just wants to meet the mailman and doesn't care about preventing the murders. Yeah, he has no empathy for the victim at all. So he's an occult enthusiast? Seems like a huge weirdo. Oh, sure. Well, we agree on something finally. And last but not least, it just now hit me that 
One of these four may, in fact, be the culprit. I mean, why else would they have such crazy designs, you know? Like, this guy, he's actually the most normal. That's suspicious. Are you the priest of this church? That's right. My family has served this church for many generations. Though I only became a man of the cloth in recent years, the blood of martyrs spanning centuries dwells within me. Thus, my existence is but a piece of the eternal prayers offered. That is my mission, as the divine has guided me to do. I don't get why, but he sure seems proud to be a priest. I guess he just likes his job. Do you know about the nail man? Of course. I have no idea how that rumor spread around. <laughs> what is with this tone? Perhaps it was even started by a wish made by those seeking salvation. What? Which created the fantasy of the nail man. Uh, I mean, that is how real urban legends start, I guess? Salvation? Except the salvation part. The people of this city must be crazy if they look to the nail man for salvation. Hey, that actually sounds kind of cool. I know how they feel. Bro, what is going on? <laughs> I want to tie you up and go to a world where it's just you and me, master. Oh my god. Isn't it basically already like that? Yeah, I... Uh, 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 I've uh, talked to everyone. Halara, is there anything you'd like to ask them? Only end your turn once you've secured a shot at victory. Oh yeah, I forgot we're playing cards. Uh. Um, does that mean I should gather more information? What else should I ask about? Okay, so now we have a moment here. You know, before we got here, I was feeling very confident about this case, but it's just so... What's the word for it? It's loose. Like, it's an urban myth, and where does fact start and rumor end? It's such a blurry line here, but I mean, that's what we're here to do. Has anything strange has happened? Anything at all? Um, has anyone noticed strange things happening near the church lately? Wow, what a big <laughs> question. Hey, you gotta cast a wide net. Oh, uh, now that you mention it... See? What is it? Uh, please, any small detail will help. S uh, something strange was burning in the incinerator earlier. How, how strange? What do you mean by strange? It's got to be one of these four, then. Like, I thought it was a rope. Yes, yes! But all I can say is it, it looked strange. Like, maybe there was, you know, the rope was tied in a very specific pattern. Um, can you try drawing what it looked like? It's got to be a ladder, right? It does look yes. like some sort of bizarre rope. But that's really odd. I mean... Maybe just one of the pieces of the rope is already burned? It's like a centipede with legs uh, missing from one side. Looks delicious. You eat bugs? You eat anything? That's so weird. I was worried that it wasn't supposed to be burned. So I tried to take it out. But I was too late. It was completely incinerated. This is amazing testimony, though. Thank you, uh, Nameless Servant. Hmm. I asked around to see if anyone knew about it, but everyone claimed they hadn't thrown away anything like it. The incinerator is surrounded by a locked fence. Only clergy can access it. Only clergy. Well, that rules out the fanatic guy. So, no one here recognized it? I don't even work here in the first place. Or let me, yeah, let me, let me rephrase that. That ru rules everyone else. Except this guy. My bad. Only clergy can access the incinerator, but no one claims to have thrown it away. Hmm. I don't know if this has anything to do with the case, but something's fishy. Okay. But, I mean, I got it. just feels good to have my suspicion confirmed like that. Oh, man. I'm, like, so suckered in. We're getting closer, y'all. It's okay. About the past nail man murders. What's up with that? Um, there have been several nail man cases in the past, right? Can you chime in, Mr. Fanatic? Does anyone know anything about past cases? You know a lot about these things, right? Yeah. You can ask me anything about the Nail Man, including all past cases, obviously. I was the first to find the body every time. Every time. What? Huh? Every time? That... 
I guess that is something to be proud of. There's no reason to look surprised. I already told you how I did it. Right, you just found someone with the name. I find dolls with name tags in the forest. Then, I look for whoever's supposed to be the next victim. And you don't warn them or anything? But every time I find a victim, they're already dead. Right, he couldn't even try that. Being the first on scene each time sounds super suspicious. You think I'm suspicious, don't you? I suppose you would. The first person on the scene can always lie and say they discovered the body in a locked room. Right, if we're thinking on a meta level, that's too obvious. But the thing is, I've never been alone when I've discovered a body. Oh, really? All of the crime scenes had no way in or out, so I'd open them with someone nearby, or by asking the peacekeepers. That's a good point. I mean, hmm. That's still... Man, there's so much going on. That... You could easily fake. You know where the crime is going to take place because you did it and you are the first to get there because you know the location because you already did it and if it's in a secluded enough area like a closed room that doesn't really help your case at least in my opinion so the body's discovery was never done alone if that's true then all the rooms really were locked even the museum which sounds odd i don't know Master, how you do that why don't you ask for more details about past cases for now yeah good idea can you tell me more about each case there have been three Nailman cases in the past six months, excluding the one at the clock tower. The first happened six months ago at a secret club in Kamasaki District. It's essentially a members-only casino. The victim owned the place. At the time, the Nailman was just a name you'd sometimes hear about in urban legends. But I had a personal interest in the Nailman, so I started researching him, and then it happened. I came across another murder while investigating a name tag I found in the forest. I knew then that it had to be the Nail Man. And that crime scene was also within a locked room? Yeah. All of the Nail Man crime scenes have common characteristics. There's always a corpse and doll coated in nails. And also, the murderer leaves no trace behind. Isn't that bizarre? See why I'm so interested in the Nail Man? Yeah, I, I guess. I totally get it. I'm so uncomfortable. Don't empathize with him. The secret club was the first locked room mystery. As for the second, it was at a mansion in the residential area near Ginma District. About three months ago, the owner of the mansion was murdered in the building's study. The crime scene again took place in a locked room with a corpse and doll covered in nails inside. Yo, how'd you get on the property though? That's what I want to know. Considering all this, there's no doubt it was committed by the Nail Man. By then, I knew the legendary Nail Man had descended upon Kanai Ward. The third locked room mystery occurred a month ago. A woman was killed in an art gallery storage in Ginma District. It also featured a body and a doll covered in nails in a completely locked room. And today, the fourth locked room mystery happened at the clock tower. That's every single Nail Man case. At least, for now. No, it ends now. This is the last one. I'm sure the Nail Man will continue on. He will enact revenge for the people of Kanai Ward. Everyone else is just listening to this? Yeah, I tell him. Tell him how it is. Uh-huh. Odd that. I also didn't know that it was an art gallery storage area. I guess that is also can be considered a locked room. I thought it was just a museum. Like, I guess I missed that detail. So this is good. But okay. So what about the dolls? That reminds me. Is there any information about the dolls used in the nail man ceremonies? I know a few have been found at the crime scenes too. <laughs> you find that stuff in any doll shop. Doll shop? Huh? You haven't seen one? Uh, what are you, a foreigner or something? Kinda. Around here, all the craft shops have been selling fancy dolls for a long time. So you can get them anywhere. They were mostly souvenirs for tourists. But that industry is long gone now. Some places still sell them at steep discounts just to get rid of their stock. If you know where to look, you'll see mountains of illegally discarded dolls all over the place. I see. So they aren't much of a clue given how easy they are to obtain. 
I was still under the impression maybe they were like made, but no, if they're that common, that's bad. Crap. That didn't really turn up anything. <laughs> Turnips. They taste all right. A watchmaker was arrested earlier. He's suspected of being involved in the mailman incident. Does anyone know anything about him? A watchmaker? You mean G.A. Colon? I've asked him to fix the church clock several times. To think that he's the mailman. Well, it hasn't been proven that he's the culprit yet. Oh, I see. But if it were him, no one would blame him. What? What do you mean? Are you si- what? This city has completely changed. Everyone is seeking salvation in some way. So he's out of a job. You, you think that's why he started killing? The nail man was born out of our situation. You mean the nail man is what the people actually wanted? Many would certainly deny it, but the nail dolls continue to appear in our forest. If the nail man acts as their agent, then they are also the nail man. In a way, that's how I see it. What do you think? Dude, I think you did this crap. Hold on, that don't- that, It don't make any sense! What are you- That's true. The nail man could be seen as a savior to some people. After all, he kills the people you want dead for you. I mean, the victim had it coming for doing something worth getting killed over, right? No, we don't know that. That's... Come on, it could just be a sicko. How about... Shinigami, have some empathy for, you know, the normal I think people. I've asked about everything I wanted to find out. Looks like time is almost up. What? Let's get going. Oh, yeah, just we're here, right? Yeah, we got other places. Is that okay? Yes, it will suffice. Oh, okay. Thank you for your cooperation. Later, suckers. If one of you turns up dead, don't be shocked. Because you effing did it, I guess. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, there's still just nothing here for us. I don't know. You should study their faces well. They may end up being accused of the murders. Pretty much spells it out for us. Huh? If I had to bet, you the need to remember every face so you can spot them, even if he's got me through a crowd. <laughs> what is going on? What the? I hope it's not the goth girl. Do you mean the actual culprit is one of them? Perhaps. There's not enough information yet to act on. So you agree too. We have no time to waste. Let's investigate the other crime scenes. Yo, okay, let's go. Best not to scramble what little gray matter rests in your head. So let's examine the crime scenes chronologically. There is no need for that, Halera. Uh, okay. Well, the first murder occurred at... God. Sh oh, they're just making me so mad. All right, let's, let's pick the first one. It's clearly not the clock tower. The first murder was the secret club, according to that it's guy. It's the secret club in the Kamasaki district, right? Correct. Let's hurry. I won't allow time to be wasted. Deal. But has Yuma even done anything to make him seem stupid? Hilarious. That just seems so random. Even for you. Oh, they actually modeled this back here. That looks pretty nice. Oh, hey. What's up? Uh, Lights illuminate the road of the church. There is an ephemerality to it. Like it could fade at any moment. Well, and this place would be perfect for a spooky dare. Have you ever done one of those? Is that how you died? <laughs> Anyway, I want to make sure I didn't miss anything. I want to think about it. I don't think death gods even die. They just are that. So I don't think that happened to Shinigami. I'm sure. This fox must be the church's symbol. Come on. An otherwise fine atmosphere spoiled by a lame fox. A gargoyle would tie this place together. Well, yeah, they... I don't know. It's almost a... <gasps> secret missable thing, dude. I'm so glad I came back. Um, Halara? I've been thinking... The first incident was six months ago, right? If we go to the crime scene now, there's nothing left to investigate. You think it will be a waste of time? There's no need to worry about that. Is this because of your forte? So, you have a plan then? Oh, no way. We're getting... I, mean, I forgot about that. That was even mechanic of the game. What? You're working with Halara Nightmare. What more could you possibly ask for? Now, let's be swift. Huh? Right. I don't really get it, but talk about confidence. Guess they have the skills to back it up. 
I mean, Where's the secret club? I, I actually have no idea. I mean, if it's truly a secret. Oh, thank God, they just pointed right to us. I was about to say, like, oh, we don't really have time for this. Yako's gonna die. This appears to be the crime scene, but it's sealed off. They've left it like this for six months? No doubt they've shirked their obligation to clean up. I suspect the peacekeepers are lazy to a fault. Hey, that's alright with us. Let's try and make this low key. Ah! Uh, <laughs> I mean, they were fast about it, I guess. I thought there was their power activating, but no. What are you what are you giggling for? It's open. Let's go inside. They didn't even lock the joint up? What the heck? Alright, I mean, I can kind of picture what's going on in here. I reckon it's a bunch of dolls. No, don't see too many of those. At least not in the main area. How big could this club be? Ooh! Well, how about that? The peacekeepers may be sloppy, but even they wouldn't leave the crime scene completely untouched. Right, so I guess they got rid of the dolls and the nails. The body was probably found around here. The victim's name is Suguma Iho. An old man who owned this place. His reputation left much to be desired. This place was an illegal casino operating at obscene rates. Even the cheating was rampant. Wow. I... I guess he had a lot of enemies? You sure know a lot about it. When did you... I told you. I gathered my own intel while waiting at the cafe. The real interesting note is that this crime scene also had no way in or out. At the time of discovery, the door was locked from the inside. How they got away with it here is a little more confusing. There aren't any windows either, which is expected given that it's underground. There are air vents, but they have secure covers barring entry. Besides, no one's able to reach that high up. No windows? The only way in and out is the door that was locked from the inside? This one is way more confusing. It's a locked room uh. Her tastes are getting catered to. That's wonderful, but... But there's not much more to investigate. We don't know what state the body was in at the time of discovery. I told you not to worry. The conditions have all been met. What? Conditions? The forte. It's just like a stand, bro. Don't tell me you've forgotten I'm a master detective. Oh, your forte. My forte is post-cognition. The power to see the past. However... It can only be used at murder scenes. That's a convenient limitation. To be precise, I can only see how the crime scene appeared at the time it was first discovered. Another way to describe it would be as crime scene limited psychometry, if that's easier to understand. I don't even know what that last word was, bro. Hold up. That's amazing! It's like the perfect forte for a detective! It's like almost broken. My power allows me to see the moment the first witness saw the crime scene. I wonder if it lets you see the actual face of the first witness. Not the culprit, not the victim, but how it appeared when a third party first entered. Okay. I mean, it's not that broken. You can't see the culprit, you know? The memory or perception of the witness does not affect my postcognition. What I see is what actually was there. When it comes to my power, the witness is not a camera or a recording device but rather a trigger. Perhaps the best way to think of it is like a bookmark stuck between the pages of when the body was found. Okay, well, let's see it. Well, there's no point in wasting more time explaining. Yeah. Let's have a look. That power sure is convenient. Explains all the confidence. Right, you have such a useful skill. I thought it was going to be a recon ability because of how they gathered info. It's similar to the mystery labyrinth where I recreate the crime scene in your mind. You just want to be like them, Shinigami. I don't want to get overshadowed. <laughs> but now it's done in the real world. Although it is limited to both the crime scene and the moment of first discovery. But still, it's amazing. On the other hand, my master's got nothing. Why is life so unfair? Uh, uh, now I'm angry. I thought we had each other or whatever. Master, can I nibble on your heart to help cheer me up? Oh my god. Well, of course not. Don't even go near me. Jesus. <laughs> I don't know what she's capable of. All right. Get popping? Uh, maybe they're already doing that. I'll just chill. What's up? Post-cognition. 
I wonder what it's like. All I can do is wait for the report. It's a shame we can't actually see it. Well, do I have some good news for you. Huh? What is it this time? Master, try to remember. Did you feel anything back on the Amaterasu Express? Wait, no, that was you? I thought that was Yuma's power. You know, when the other master detectives use their powers. Darn it. So we are we actually just completely ordinary? That sucks. I mean, I get it, but that sucks. This sensation, I felt it when Aphex used his powers. Somehow, it feels like I can hear what Poochie hears. Right. I can sense whenever a master detective uses their power. Yes, that's it. Maybe your coalescence will work now. Coalescence? Simply put, it's the ability to share someone else's power. Hmm... On the train, you only felt the resonance of other people's fortes, but its true function is to share their powers. Can we use them, though? Like, that would be unbelievably helpful. Wait, then that means I can also see the scene in the past with Halara? That's amazing! Is this your ability, Shinigami? Huh? Is something like that? Hmm. But there are conditions for it to activate. Well, it's... You sure know a lot about it. You must kiss someone to share their ability. What? What? Kiss Halara? I didn't. Oh, I didn't kiss Poochie. I definitely didn't kiss Apex. I would remember that. Okay. Oh, did you blush? Did you really want to? You still don't know if Halara is a boy or a girl. What is up with you? Don't what? Oh, quit messing around and tell me how it works. You need permission from the person sharing the ability first. Then, you must hold hands while the ability is active. But then how did I get their abilities on the train? Did you do it on my behalf? That's it. Okay, I can do that. I- uh, Does anyone else- Is anyone bothered by that inconsistency? Huh. Alright, well, hey partner. You know, or uh, excuse me, assistant. I need your assistance. Um, Halara. I'm very scared. Give me your hand, please. Hmm. <sighs> No. Halara? <laughs> I need you to be quiet. I'm concentrating. Sorry, but there's something I want to ask. What? So hypothetically, you know, I am giving you five billion yen. Yeah. Coalescence. Hold hands. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> you and me. He actually just told the straight truth? He didn't make something up? I like your style, kid, but that's wacky. I yes. That way, I'll be able to see the past, too. I think. My source has made no mention of such an ability. In fact, you're just a trainee. Well, want me to prove it to you? I mean, if it really will work. Yeah, but I just remembered I had it. <laughs> Surprise! Anyway, we don't have much time. Let's try it. I have no intention of getting friendly with you. Oh, uh, it's not like that. <laughs> I despise you. Oh! What? Where did that come from? I'm actually hurt. Hold up. Huh? Just the thought of holding your hand makes my skin crawl. Hey, yo! What the t- I didn't know you hated me so much. Let me be clear. I don't just hate you in particular. Oh, you hate everybody? Well, that's fine. That makes me feel a little better. I despise all of humanity equally. I don't trust anyone, except the dead. I, but, you know, we got three hours. Can you make an exception today? <laughs> I had a feeling. Halara must be a demon straight from hell. No, they just have some trauma. Or they're just really, really mean, which is not often the case. Then why did you choose to help me with the investigation? As I told you in the beginning, I always work sincerely for the payment I receive. As long as you promise payment, I will promise my utmost efforts as a professional. But a professional means no hand-holding. Really, how unprofessional could you be? That's like the definition of unprofessional. Then please, hold my hand. <laughs> it's necessary for the investigation. Please hold my hand! I can't investigate without someone holding my hand, literally. <laughs> you can add this to my bill if you want. You'll agree then, right? 
Hmm. Mm, these implications, though. <sighs> Fine. If it's what I must do as a detective, then I have no choice but to agree. I would be so uncomfortable if I was Halara. My God. I mean, they're on the job. What the? <clears throat> oh, I thought like Shinigami's like side effects were happening or something. Oh, God, we gotta see it though. Like I'm really curious. The thing that stands out most in the room is that casino machine is like powered off. The other ones aren't. The dolls are definitely there. At least this confirms. Oh my gosh, that looks so cool though. Whoa. It's definitely a normal. I can see it. Everything looks different than a moment ago. Like it's a bit more normal than I was expecting, but yeah, this is insanely helpful. Incredible. So this is postcognition. Yeah, we ain't fooling. Uh, not much has changed though from at first glance. Oh, what is that? Wait, whoa, whoa, Can what? You really see it? So your coalescence is real. I didn't expect you to already have your own forte. Well, this does save me the trouble of reporting it back to you. But it's quite inconvenient to keep our hands joined. Right. Very well. Go ahead and lead the investigation. Me? While holding your hand? I don't know about that. If you can see what I see, that would be for the best. I'm only acting as your assistant, after all. Right. This is quite the bizarre crime scene. But unusual crime scenes are expected when you work for the WDO. Now, let's see what you're capable of. Hey, you got it. I won't disappoint. Let's go. This is actually cool. If Shinigami was just pulling our leg, though, and we truly didn't need the ability to hold their hand, I personally will be furious. That's like too, too effing far. But what do I know? Anyway, let's first analyze the corpse's original location. Eh? V That's like the second time in a row. Listen, I know it's the obvious joke, but there is something suspicious about this vent. Oh, you use... Vent. Okay, I see. There's a vent here. The four corners of the cover are screwed down. So I don't think it'll open. I doubt the cover can be open when it's like this. But it's too early to conclude. There's no useful information. Compare it with the use of pre or post cognition. Right, I'll give it a try. This has to show that on screen every time. Whoa, whoa! Body. I see a body. The murder scene through Halara's eyes is completely silent. This one was also hanged. There are dolls nailed to the walls and floor, and a corpse pinned down with nails in a similar fashion. This all feels like a dream. It doesn't seem real. There are abnormal decorations all around the crime scene. And it's so, so quiet. Well, oh, yeah, we do get it. Check that out. This is so bad. Okay, I know I've been saying that a lot, but let's check again. What's with the vent? It is. Hey, this vent. The cover is in place, but it hasn't been screwed on. How did they get out from... If this was the entrance and exit, that is bananas. Which means it could be easily removed, right? What are you doing? Huh? You can't touch what you see in post-cognition. Awesome. Even if you happen to be three meters tall. You just had to remind us we're short, all right. Oh, I see. But I think this will be an important clue. It's a shame we can't actually... Well, outside of post-cognition, we can still see what it leads to. The vent is about 40 by 30 centimeters. A thin adult can probably pass through. A thin adult. And that rules out someone at the chapel. Or, or is it a church? Is there a difference? I don't know. Anyway, key get. Let's go. All right. Let's just, you know, bite the bullet. What's up with this corpse? It's see anything? It's a man's corpse. Whoa. He's probably around 60 years old. And look at those fingertips. His body is pinned against the wall with countless nails. There isn't much bleeding, so the nails must have been hammered in after he died. You're starting to get the hang of this. Not too shabby. Oh, there are marks on him. Signs that he was strangled. 
The vertical scratch marks were probably made when he resisted. The most basic of basic observations. Well, at least you noticed. Oh my god, the rare time Shinigami compliments us. Halera is like, no, 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 come on. Can't have any self-esteem. Gotta take you down a peg. That's thanks to everything I taught you at the clock tower. <laughs> Such an awesome mentor. This situation is identical to the murder at the clock tower. The culprit first strangled the victim to death, and then decorated the room afterward. But why? Too early to say, really. But it is safe to assume. Uh, I'm still, for whatever reason, believing they had to transport the body here in post. But no, okay. If they murdered this guy in a different location, it's totally possible to, you know, have his keys as well, come in here in the middle of the night, leave the body, and... Uh, but yeah, you, you could lock up, right? Like, that's how you lock your doors. I don't... Th uh, then how do you explain the vent? This is so weird. I, I have so many theories, but we gotta, you know... If we just sit around thinking, you know, <laughs> Yako, it's not going to end well for him. I knew it. Sure enough, the secret club has dolls. Nailed to the wall, too. Yeah. That must be the nail man's calling card. They're nailed into the wall, seemingly at random. Facing all direction, I can't find a pattern. There's nothing that can be connected to the culprit. Let's check someplace else. My theory is, hmm, could you... Oh, by the way, you Yuma. Notice the nail below, the vent? below the vent? I was about to mention that. They made another ladder with the nails. Huh. Dang it. The nails are bent downward. Maybe they were hammered in a hurry. Nah, that's how they got their exit. I don't think they had the keys at all. Or perhaps there's another reason. Another reason? That's wacky. God, that's so that's so good. It, it, it's a bit obvious though. I wonder if you can actually see... You can totally see signs that they were removed. Oh, that's so cool. Okay. Wow, we actually can't see this one. Huh. I guess you can only do it while you actually talk to I Alara. I have to say, post cognition is amazing. You can see the exact crime scene the moment the body was first discovered. Were you born with this power? My forte is no ordinary superpower. It is a highly refined technique heightened through training. How the heck do you train for that? I guess like how a psychic would train? They bended lots of spoons. No, but something similar. So you weren't able to use it in the beginning? I could, but initially it was just ordinary psychometry. Oh yeah, just everyday ordinary psychometry. I totally get you. Since I was young, I would often get sudden glimpses of the past as if I was experiencing a flashback. After a while, touching people or objects resulted in visions flowing through my mind. I only learned it was a form of psychometry after growing older. In the WDO, simply having psychometry as a trainee grants you preferential treatment. But I was not satisfied. I believed I could use this ability more effectively as a detective. And through painstaking effort and training, I gained this ability in three days. Whoa. That's a that's a crazy turnaround. Oh my god. Three days? That's you were in a hurry. As I told you earlier, this ability can only see when a corpse is first discovered. It can't be used from the culprit or victim's viewpoint. It is only when a third party first witnesses a crime scene. There are conditions for my post cognition to activate. First, I must be standing at the crime scene. This condition is absolutely required. I must also know the victim's name and face. That's why prior research is crucial. Lastly, postcognition is only effective in a 10 meter radius around the body. At this time, I can only see the crime scene and the victim. I can't see any living things that were at the scene. I think that last limitation will be very important. I need to keep that in mind. Sadly, I don't have any note paper near me, so... Uh... That'll do, right? <laughs> so if someone was hiding in the room, you wouldn't be able to see them? No. 
My ability isn't so good at detecting people. Still, this is incredibly effective in investigating murder cases. Dog is sucking up like mad. They have been very mean to us for a whole chapter, Yuma. Feel free to summon me whenever you need my help. Of course, I don't work for cheap. Yeah, yeah, whatever. You're not gonna change your mind on that, I guess. Can't compromise your morals, I guess. Well, the morals just... Ugh. Really? There's nothing to do with this? Whoa. Oh. <laughs> it looked like almost like a secret passage, the way the light was bouncing off that corner. I think that's just wishful thinking. But let's go! Post-cognition! <laughs> Get that filth off my screen. Wait, there's something here. Eh? The key to the place, dude! Oh, there's a key in the glass. Is it the key to the room? Seems like it. By the way, being an illegal casino, the security was extremely tight. There's only one master key. It's also a special key that can't be duplicated. If it was thrown in from outside the vent, it wouldn't be inside the glass. So this is definitely another locked room mystery! Hooray! I'm so glad I met you! I'm not, I'm not so sure on that. For some reason. But I I guess I was kind of right. They had a key to the room. They probably just... I mean, no. They definitely did not kill them here. The owner of the place. Anything else here? Oh, hey, slot machine. Nice. Yeah. The slot machine spotless. Looks like it was well taken care of. There's nothing here of interest. Yeah. Seems that way. Let's check someplace else. Latte. And now we got... Let's see. Just some dolls. Not a lot, from at least at first glance. That's... There's a doll nailed to the roulette table. I see. There's also a doll nailed here, right in the middle of the roulette wheel. The doll itself seems to be the same as the others. There doesn't seem to be anything noteworthy. That is, in of itself, sufficient knowledge. Let's check someplace. Really? That's it? Well, let's look at the table. I can... hmm? Was this moved during the incident? As far as I can tell, it doesn't seem related. Yeah. Yeah, let's check it out. Really no clues. You're kidding. I mean, it's not a big place. I'm not surprised. All that's left is... The exit. Oh, no. Around the exit, too. Okay. Anything on the ceiling? That's also a possibility. But, yeah. Okay, let's check out the door. The lock is broken. Maybe someone broke it and forced their way in. Like at the clock tower. So much for being a locked room. But from the looks of it, there's no sign of the lock or door being tampered with. What? But it's locked. It's broke. I didn't understand that. All right. I'm going to just take his word for it. That's... The chair's knocked over. How cruel. Could this be evidence of a struggle between the victim and the culprit? Hmm. I don't know about that. The culprit could have knocked it over on purpose to throw off the investigation. Yeah, it's a red herring. There's not much we can get from it other than the fact it's knocked over. Let's check elsewhere. Yeah. Oh. No, that was a lot faster than I expected. I think that's about it. I've checked what I can. That's it? Bro. Well, I mean, they had a, they had the master key. We know that for certain. And yeah, they climbed into that vent, which would imply our culprit would have to be slender enough to fit inside of there. Just throwing that out there. I'm not, you know, it's just a fact. At least one person at the chapel's in innocent. There isn't much else to investigate. I've never experienced this before, but it's surprisingly convenient to be able to share my post-cognition. It's exhausting to explain what I see to a client. Right. I could see how that'd be annoying and time-consuming. Really? People do not believe what they cannot see. I have often been called a liar. I suppose fortes aren't always convenient. We still have locked room mysteries to examine. The second incident was at the mansion near Gima District. I have an idea of where to go. Let's hurry there. Deal. Let's check out this next locked room. I do wonder if this will be a game of guess who, though, based on just the information we have. Because if that's the, the case... The building we're heading to is accessed through Gima District. Let's hurry there. Okay, you act like I know where that is. Gosh, but as I was saying, that could be fun in its own way, but... 
is it really just the four at the church? I don't know, but that concludes today's episode of Master Detective Archives Raincoat Said It Right This Time. I'm just immersed in this mystery, but it seems like we have a lot more exploring to do. So hopefully you'll join me next time as we continue the mystery of the Nailman serial murder case. Bye.